Hello and welcome back to Fulton Street Beats. Today we get to the fun stuff. Now I've never done this before, but we're going to install a vibrato, Amazon vibrato. Um, and it doesn't seem too difficult, but I could be wrong. Um, I do not have my roller bridge, so we're going to do our lining up with the original bridge. And for those of you, if you do decide to do this and you don't know which way your bridge goes back on, um, usually you can tell by the slot or the, the size of the slot for the, uh, for the bridge itself where the strings run. Your thicker slots will be on this side and your thinner ones on this side. So in this case, they are like that. Screws are towards the front. Sometimes I've seen these backwards, so but this one is correct. So that's how it's going to be. Thick strict string here, thin string here. So we'll keep that on there right now. Um, if you haven't already, you can polish up your guitar under here. Mine's already pretty clean, so I'm not going to worry about that. But what we are going to do, so we don't scratch anything up, is we're going to tape this up a bit. And I don't want to, I kind of want to, I don't want to waste a lot of tape either, but we're going to tape it up or we're going to drill. Just a couple pieces of tape. Won't hurt anything. So we will do that. Easy peasy, just to protect the finish. And we also have to remove the uh, strap button back here. And hopefully the strap button is centered and the right height, because that's very important. So we'll take this off. And we'll sit this to the side. And I'll show you. There is the hole where that was. And hopefully that's centered. I kind of eyeballed it. And it does appear to be centered. So hopefully it is. But I'm also going to put a little tape down there too. I may have to move that to make sure we're not drilling into the other hole. But we're going to take our vibrato. I'm going to line it up here. See exactly kind of ballpark it where it's going to be. Now you do not want to do your tailpiece down here first. You want to do that last. This is the, these are the parts that get screwed first. Okay. Now unfortunately this is a very slippery surface. But we're just going to use do some lining up to mark some holes. I'm going to take this out, kind of sit this a little down a little more flush. But I still don't want a lot of pressure on that neck back here. So I'm going to place a pad underneath the body to relieve a bit of that pressure. There we are. So we need string. Next we need string. So what you're going to do, and I've never done this before. But I have watched video, so that's what I'm basing it on. You're going to wrap this around our lower string here. And we're going to run this down because that's going to give us through the nut and through the bridge. Okay, there we are. So now I'm going to sit this here and bring this around here. This is just about straightness and being up against that right there is pretty close. And now I'm going to run not too much where I don't want to Oh, look at that. I went around the vibrato arm. There we go. Get over there. Where are you? Come on. Come on. Get through there. What are you caught on? There we are. Now, if I can keep that right, run that through there. And we're going to run that one through there. 
And the goal of this is to keep the strings in alignment. This is crucial. And then there's Gonna go here like so, and up through the other nut, and around the post, up top. Hopefully, hopefully, I can keep it from breaking. So anyhow, so now I can see right now that actually it's pretty dang close. Which is kind of amazing. Okay, so here we are. We are lined up. I know you can't really see what I did here, but it has to be straight down through. You don't want your strings coming off one direction or another. And what I do is I take this plate and I push it here, but I also make a string alignment and make sure the strings are going to run straight as they are and cover come right over the humbuckers right where they should so this is the exact point that this needs to be right here and I'm going to mark this hole here I'm going to mark this hole let's make sure that was lined up still hold on here here There we are. And our alignment is still appears to be pretty perfect down through. Okay, so they're marked. So the first one that I'm going to drill is actually going to be this one right here. And I know that I could be flush here. And the reason I'm drilling this one first is so if in case I have to do any fine tuning before I drill the other hole, I can do that. But I can see that this string is running right down perfectly straight, right next to that. And I'm, the reason I decided to use thread is because it's thin. And I can get right up pretty much right next to the, uh, the string where it holds the string and not be off. So it's thin and it seems to work good. So next we're going to get our screws out. And I do, it doesn't give us any directions with this, so we're going by guess. And it's always best to pilot a hole and then start going up from there. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to guess, because they really don't say, do they? But I'm going to guess, hmm, that the big ones are going into here. That's what I'm guessing. We should have a block of wood in there. And this, these, are, these are the ones that should be really holding it. And these ones will support it on the end. Yes. Here, as well as the screw for your sling. So, these ones are going to go with this one. Should be three of them. There is three. Okay. And so they give you an extra one for your, and then these two, yes, would make sense, are going to go here. So we're going to figure out depth and size. So I'll go over to my drill bit. And I'm going to start A small bit which is going to be this one here as a pilot and uh, I'm not going to give you guys sizes because this is going to be totally up to you to figure out because I don't know if there's going to be any variations in the vibratos now we need to set a depth now don't we so our depth our drill depth really isn't that far off apparently so this is going to go down in all the way. We're drilling to here. About right there. I'm just going to mark the bit because I don't want to go past the tape. And a lot of you 
We'll take this off first. I will start it on. It keeps my hole aligned. And we're gonna go straight down. And it should be in that block and then out. Okay. Now I'm gonna start this if it'll hold. There we are. But I just want to get some tension and make sure everything is still going to be straight. And it appears that is going to be perfection. So now we're going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to do the same thing here. And get down to the tape. And out and not hit the chrome. Now I'm going to remove this because you know I think that these sizes just that size just may work and I'm going to set this over to the side. And we're going to peel off this tape and there's our two holes drilled. I'm not going to peel the tape off the end yet because we still have drilling to do down there. So let's just move this back. And there is that. And as you can see, those holes are drilled nicely, but I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna take the next size up bit, and this is gonna prevent cracking. You just chamfer it a little bit, just like that. And you can see it's taken off that little bit of clear. And that made a nice groove where it's not gonna crack the finish. So make sure you do this with a sharp bit. Do you see that come out? And this is what I do with my drum kits also, so. And there we are. There's our two holes. And now we have no burrs or anything on it. And now, we know the string's lined up. I'm going to break my string. There we are. And now, we can pull this back. Now that we're ready to mount. And I believe that that is going to work out cut into that wood nicely without breaking anything, hopefully. I was going to step it up one more, but I think we're right where we need to be. I'm going to put this one here to hold it. And I'm going to put, if everything is correct, this one here to hold it into place. There we are. And I'm going to change out my bit on my drill. We're going to Step these down very slowly. Very, very, very slowly. And we're going to see it should go easy. I don't want to hear any cracks. There we go. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So now we have a perfectly lined tremolo. And now we have to do the end. So I'll pause you here. It will situate camera so you can see what's going on there. Okay, so now we're here at the end and you can see I left the tape on what I could here. And we're going to drill out these holes. Now what they did is they gave us an extra long screw that's going to be used for the strap button. And we're going to replace the old screw from the strap button. So we're not pushing down. We're not doing anything. So you never want to do this end first because, you're, well, your vibrato won't work correctly if you do. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually, we can actually use these holes now. Um, so I have to find a bit again here and that is the question and I'm gonna go with a small bit once more because it's, it's like I said and I didn't I thought I had it right last time and I actually hit it right on the nose so we got lucky but we're gonna start this very small and we're gonna center it into this hole here and just go for it down here, and the same here. And now, is provided, I'm going to peel the tape off, 
provided. Yes. So we can see that our original hole, these are the two I just drilled, is not on center with the guitar. You can see that's going to cover it. So you see that difference where this is up? That's center of the guitar now. So now we know where center of the guitar is. And once again, we're going to do the same thing so we do not get a crack in the finish is we just chamfer these little holes we just drilled. And they didn't do that with the original hole, but I'm going to. There we go. And you can see what happened with the original hole because they did not. You see the difference? And you have a seam right here, and that seam's actually pretty close to the center of the guitar, so that's pretty impressive. Usually the seam's not even close. So I'm going to test this to see. I think this is this may just work out again with that bit. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. Very nice. Going in very, very nice. I'm just snugging it for now. There we are. And now we'll do number two. And we got lucky that this hole wasn't close to the other one because then you can run into issues. With two holes next to each other. Very nice. And now I'm going to tighten this one a bit more. There we are. Now we're going to take this screw out of the strap button, sit it to the side, install the new one because it's longer. That's why we're doing this, guys. Make sure you leave your washer in there so you don't scratch anything. Let's start that one there. Very nice. Now we have a installed vibrato. And there you are. Very, very nice. I'm really impressed with the quality of the chrome on this aftermarket Chinese Vibrato. Now's a good time to get in there, and clean up things before you do your final install. Like I said, so this is your, we can leave these on here and we will do that because it just keeps those holes kind of finished off a bit. Now we also have a spring that needs to be installed here and I did put this washer down already. You see how this pulls back? And the springs on these, if I can find the spring, oh here it is right here. So the springs on these are very large and very stiff. And as you can see, if you sit this down on here, well, see how far up in the air that sticks up? Well, when you put your strings on and your strings will wrap from on top and pull underneath, that is going to pull that down like that. And this is going to give you that vibrato effect on the strings. So very cool. Now, if we would have put this butt plate end on first, everything would have been misaligned and not proper. So make sure you do these two first. I know drilling into your guitar is a scary thing, but I assure you if you take your time, it's not a big deal. And doesn't it look absolutely stunning? Isn't that stunning? And that does swing down out of the way. So there you are. Absolutely stunning. So we're, our next thing we have to wait for, and we're not going to be using this anymore, so this can go with our other pile of parts here. We're waiting for our bridge to arrive. And the bridge that's coming is gold. So another hint of gold to match the gold theme. Kind of neat. Um, like I said, I was going to go with a gold vibrato, but I decided not to because I don't want to do too much. I just want hints of gold. Um, another thing that's coming also is a new truss rod cover. Um, and I believe as far as the aesthetics of this build, we will be finished with maybe the exception of some gold buttons here for the, uh, 
for the uh, guitar strap um, soon. Maybe we'll do that. Just another hint of gold. Maybe change some screws on the pick guard to gold, things of that nature. So let me give you, I'm going to turn you around here, guys, and I'm going to give you a good visual of exactly what this looks like now. And here it is, almost complete. Polished up nicely, and as you can see, boy, that really sets it off. Just those little gold hints. Keeping the, the silver theme down the center, and the gold on the accent pieces, I think, really, really makes this. And this tremolo, or this, I keep saying tremolo, vibrato, does look outstanding. And you can see the install went very smoothly. It makes me wonder if I should have went with a silver roller bridge, but we do have a gold one coming. There is our pearl pick guard for a Gibson ES339. And you can see we conditioned the fretboard with organic coconut oil. And then here is our tuners. These are Geiger tuners gold and we left the silver washers behind them for a bit of separation and there's our tuners they turned out very 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 nice i'm dropping things i apologize and you can see and that's a bone nut by the way they use a bone nut and you can see that the inlays are perfect on these. Perfectly straight. The frets are nice and polished and shiny. And this is how it came. We just conditioned this a little bit. And nothing on the yet. These are smooth frets. Very nice. I wanted to turn this into something for me. Something pretty. That could actually sit out and be looked at. I look at these things like a work of art. And there you have it. And there is our surround. And nothing was pretty much plug and play as far as this stuff goes because these are Gibson parts. The surrounds were for a Gibson. The uh, pick guard was for a Gibson. So a little modification was required on pretty much everything. Except for the witch hat knobs all right guys thanks for watching fulton street beats next time we come back we're going to be installing a truss rod cover that should be in pearl if it's correct when it comes and hopefully that's a direct fit and if not we will do some modifying and we will be doing our bridge roller bridge and stringing it up and setting everything and tuning it up properly Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. You have a great day. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe to keep up to date on all these cool builds. Bye.